My knees getting weak and my gun might blow, but we gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Huh. We gon' be alright. Huh. We gon' be alright. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Huh? We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright. What you want? You a house? You a car? A piano or guitar? Anything? See, my name is Lucy. I'm your dog. Look, you can live at the mall. I can see the evil, I can smell it, I know it's illegal I don't think about it, I deposit every other Digging in my pot and put the candy painted on a regal Digging in my profit, profit big enough to feed you every day my logic Another dollar just to keep you in the prison for your chica ah. BT What's that? Let's go I take you down this trip down memory lane. This not a rap, I'm slinking. No move, go. No code of sack, plenty cognac and major pain. The drill sergeant, the stress that weigh in on your brain. It's me, El Boogie, yeah, yeah. Lucky right down Rosecrans. Ugly waving your hand out the window, check yourself. Uh, warriors in Conan, warrior can slow down. Society, society, the first one to get killed. Seen the light skin, homie with his brain blown down. Yeah. At the same burger stand, the homies hang up. Yeah. Now this is not a tape recorder saying that he did it. But ever since that day, I was looking at him different. BT! Without further ado, I would like to introduce the beautiful, talented Erica Bond. Do What's up? Up right now. Please don't, don't kill my, my vibe. vibe. Don't kill my vibe. My vibe. I can feel your energy hey. from two planets away. I got hey. my One. I got my two. music. I was sharing it two. with the yeah. yeah. hey. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. Hey. Don't kill my vibe. Hey. You look inside of my soul and you can find gold and maybe get rich. Look inside of my soul and you can find out it maybe exists. Uh. I can feel the changes. I can feel a new life, a always new life could be dangerous. I can say the hot like a challenge and you to me is painless. You don't know what pain is. How can I paint this picture? Color blindness ain't getting with ya. Spell on my face and I woke with a scar. Another mistake living deep in my heart. Where it on top of my sleep in the flick. I can admit that it did look like yours. Why you resent every making a fist? Tell me your purpose is ready again. But even a small that they can't run a bridge. Even a small that they can't run a bridge. I can feel the changes. I can feel the new people around me just want to be famous. You can see that my city found me, then put me on stages. To me, that's amazing. To you, that's a quick check with all disrespect. Let me say this, but I do. Hey. What's up, girl? It's probably going to say it again. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Sometimes I don't understand. Sometimes I got to be alone. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. Let's go. I can feel your energy from two planets away. I got my music. Big T. Big T. Big T. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. I'm trying to keep it alive and not compromise the feeling we love. You're trying to keep it deprived. Co sign with radio does. I'm looking right past you. We live in a world, we live in a world on two different axes. You live in a world, I'm living behind the mirror. I know what you're scared of. The feelings, emotions, inferior. This here is vital, I know your head. This here is vital, I know your head. Die in a pitiful vein. Tell me you're watching the chain. Way more believable, give me a feasible cane. Rather her season, no name. I let the people know this is something you can blame. Or yourself, you can remain. Stuck in a box. I'ma break out of the high to be locked. I'ma break out of the high to be locked. I can feel the changes. I can feel the new people around me just want to be famous. You can see that my city family then put me on stages. To me, that's amazing. To you, that's a quick check with our disrespect. Let me say this, why I don't?
Tyler, you are a brilliant visionary that embodies what the African-American dream truly is. You, sir, are an icon living. I am deeply, deeply honored to present the 2019 BET Ultimate Icon Award to my dear, dear friend, Mr. Tyler Perry. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I want to say a special thanks to BET, my new family. I can't wait to get started over there with our new shows. Thank you so much for this. To Scott and everybody over there, thank you so much. To Viacom, Shari, who's here, Bob, everybody. Listen, from my heart, I want to say thank you. I couldn't help but think about my mother. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> I couldn't help but think about my mother. I remember being a kid, I was about five years old. She would take me into the projects with her when she played cards on Friday nights with a bunch of women. Now, these women didn't have more than a 12th grade education, but they were smart black women. They were powerful black women. They had great stories to tell. And I was a five-year-old kid sitting there on the floor playing with my matchbox cars, listening to them talk about their men, their relationships, and their pains. And when one of them would get really sad, another woman would come in and make a joke, and they'd all start laughing. I didn't know I was in a master class for my life. I would get home and my father would be beating my mother and doing all kinds of things and saying all kinds of stuff to her and he would leave the room and I'd walk in and I'd imitate one of those women and she would start laughing. There was a power in that that I didn't really get until I got older. I remember being about 11, 12 years old on my way to my new school and I got to this uh, intersection. I had to walk past pimps, prostitutes, walk through, literally walk through a graveyard, get to this intersection, six lane intersection and there was a man standing there saying, will someone help me cross? Will someone help me cross? And there were all of these people that kept passing by him and passing by him. I said, I'll help you cross. So he told me he was going to my school and he was going to sell candy there. That's how he made his living. So I helped him cross the street to get there. We became good friends. His name was Mr. Butler. That moment reminded me of my mother bringing her out of, laugh, out of pain into laughter to help her cross. My first 10 movies were all about her subconsciously, wanting her to know that she was worthy, wanting black women to know you're worthy, you're special, you're powerful, you're amazing. All of that was about helping across. When I started hiring people like Taraji and Viola Davis and Idris Elba, they couldn't get jobs in this town, but God blessed me to be in a position to be able to hire them. I was trying to help somebody cross. When I built my studio, I built it in a neighborhood that is one of the poorest black neighborhoods in Atlanta so that young black kids can see that a black man did that and they can do it too. I was trying to help somebody cross. The studio was once a Confederate army base, and I want you to hear this, which meant that there was Confederate soldiers on that base plotting and planning on how to keep 3.9 million Negroes enslaved. Now that land is owned by one Negro. It's all about trying to help somebody cross. While everybody was fighting for a seat at the table, talking about Oscar so white, Oscar so white, I said, y'all go ahead and do that. But while you're fighting for a seat at the table, I'll be down in Atlanta building my own. Because, because what I know for sure is that if I could just build this table, God would prepare it for me in the presence of my enemies. Rather than being an icon, I want to be an inspiration. So thank you, BET, my new family. Thank you, everybody. I want you to hear this. Every dreamer in this room, there are people whose lives are tied into your dream. Own your stuff. Own your business. Own your way. God bless you. Thank you, BET. Thank you, Scott. I love you guys. Thank you. Continues. Now throw your deuces in the air. Yeah. If you love Nipsey Hustle, let me hear you say it. Yeah.
shit. I know where my real oh, my real niggas feel this shit. Yeah. Can't even see the stars, but Can't still even see the stars, but they still wish. Every day, fifteen hundred. Moment, sit down, would love forever. If I could live in this moment, babe, sit down, would yeah. forever. Real big, real big. I know one day I would do it real big. Real big. Crip one from time.
Hope we keep going higher. Can you feel it? Hey, hey. Can you feel it? We keep going higher. Lovely Nipsey Hussle. The marathon continues. Best International Act, AKA South Africa. Aya Nakamura, France. Burner Boy, Nigeria. Dave, United Kingdom. Dose, France. Giggs, United Kingdom. Mr. Easy, Nigeria. And the BET Award goes to <laughs> Burn a boy! So, Burn a boy couldn't be here tonight, so we accept this. Oh, he's here? Come on. Oh, come on. This, this Mama Burner right here, y'all. <laughs> he must be the most restless person I ever met. He was here right now. Okay. Thank you very much, BET. Um, thank you, Africa, because... Because that's the constituency for which we got noticed in the first place. And the message from Berna, I believe, would be that every black person should please remember that you were Africans before you became anything else. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, this is my palace. Champagne in my chalice. I got it all covered like a wedding bed. Start a diet, or we gon' have to put them on a diet. Look at that, I guarantee I got them quiet. Look at that, I guarantee they all inspired. A town made it out there. Straight out Kansas City, yeah, we made it out there. Celebrated, graduated, made it past fail. Sassy, classy, Kool Aid with the gale. Mama was a G, she was cleaning hotels. Papa was a driver, I was working retail. They kept us in the back of the stove, we ain't hit it no more. Ooh, lit. Already got an Oscar for the cops. Running down Grammys with the family. I probably give a Tony to the homies. Probably get an Emmy dedicated to the Holly Melanated. Black girl never overrated. Yeah, we Holly Melanated. Black girl never overrated. Yeah, Gemini still jamming. Box office numbers and they doing outstanding. Running out of space on the damn bandwagon. Remember when they used to say I look too mannish? Black girl magic. Y'all can't stand it. Y'all can't bear Jane Doe, and I Jane Go, never Sambo. Black and white, yeah, that's always been my camo. It's looking like y'all gonna need some more ammo. I cut them off, I cut them off, I cut them off like Van go. Now, pan right for the angle. I got away with murder, no scandal. Ha, cue the violins and violas. We gave you life, we gave you birth, we gave you God, we gave you earth. We film the future, don't make it worse. You want the world? Well, what's it worth? Emoticons, Decepticons, and I will buy Twist the plot, who shot the sheriff, then fled to Paris in the darkest hour. Spoke truth to power, made a fan join out of your girlfriend. Let's get caught downtown in the whirlwind. And paint the city pink, paint the city pink. And took the pearls in, just in case the world in. Huh. And down dog, move back, take a seat, you are not involved. And hit the mute button, let the vagina have a monologue. I 
Our next presenters were five teenage boys who were falsely accused and wrongly convicted of an unspeakable crime. When They See Us is a poignant true story that reminds us all of the racial injustices that continue to happen our culture and plague our justice system. It is my sincere honor to introduce to you, Youssef Salam, Corey Wise, Kevin Richardson, Raymond Santana, and Antron McRae, now known as the Exonerated Five. We are all on our own individual journey in life. We don't know where our journeys will take us or how they will collide with others. I didn't know that one day we'll bomb into these men for the rest of our life. But I know that in telling our truth, our lives have been changed forever. Your truth is the foundation your legacy will be built upon. Your truth will be the memories people keep long after you're gone. Oh, I love you too, baby. That's my wife right there, y'all. <laughs> Mistaken. 
and I'm getting caged, then you gotta feel me. Feel like the system trying to kill me, got arrested in the charges of one. For popping bullets, they won't. Time for us to fail, to still prevail through the hell. Yeah, can you believe it? We still are. No, it's designed for us to lose. Nothing, nothing, nothing's impossible. With some tests on my face, taking a bunch of zannies with the strap on my waist, pointing it at the camera like my man teach me manners. Trying to see more bills like I'm headed to Alabama. No way, I can't judge them. I'm just trying to understand them. Cause I used to pop perks, pour purple in my phantom, had me swerving in my phantom like I'm running from my dreams. I was headed for the slim, I was playing all the seeds for them to bury me. I had my whole family mad at me, fell deep in love with the game and it married me. Just said I give you a chance, just don't embarrass me. Motivating these look, this is like a charity community service. Even though they knew we was working, they did this to me on purpose. Cause I ain't moving too perfect. I stay away from them clowns, watch how I move through the circus. Cause they be weighing you down, even some of them dudes in your circus. Stay woke. <laughs> That's a fab, no, that's a fact. You screaming out at your corner, that's a trap. Screaming out at your homie, that's a rat. Catch a case with him, Betty Crack. The eyes against you and they double stack. Stay woke. Boy, my mom and no crib, that's some gangsta. Niece and nephews walking around wearing makes and shit. Kept the hood motivated, this is the thanks I get. Tried to rule the kid on some wasted shit. But that's impossible, cause I'm unstoppable. The label can't drop me, that I'm too valuable. You thought I would lose, but I won't in that bothered you. Still moving around in Philly just like the monsters do. When I talked to him and Hove, they said I'm proud of you. Stood tall back when everyone doubted you. My reply is I did what I gotta do. And I need that verse for you retired too. Jumping all the obstacles, I'm way too weak. Said I would lose, but you're way too crazy. Pick and choose, evil fame or the money. Fame will make you crazy, and the money I make them back. Just say thank you, baby. You're welcome. Oh. Yo, thank you, Meek Mill, for that incredible, incredible performance. Once again, this has already proven to be quite a year for our country. School shootings, police brutality, and now the evil act of intentionally separating parents from their children at the border. Typically, the BET Awards honors a celebrity humanitarian who has done something extraordinary for our world. But tonight, we want to honor a few of the individuals who've had the opportunity in their everyday lives to do something unexpected and impactful for our community. Individuals like Anthony Borges, a student at Stone Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida, who suffered five gunshot wounds as he helped bring 20 students to safety. James Shaw Jr., a selfless hero who wrestled an assault rifle away from a gunman who opened fire in a Nashville Waffle House. And in the aftermath of that tragedy, started a GoFundMe account to raise money to help the victims. Justin Blackman, the lone student who walked out of his school to demand action on gun reform as a part of the National School Walkout. Mamadou Gassama, a real-life superhero who sprang into action by scaling multiple floors of a building in Paris to save a baby who was dangling from a balcony. Naomi Wilder, a fifth grader who gave a passionate speech at the March for Our Lives that inspired the world with its call for the inclusion of black women who are victims of gun violence. And Sean King, an activist and journalist who daily speaks truth to power as he uncovers stories that make us aware of atrocities in our community, from racial discrimination to police brutality to the tragedy happening at our own American borders. Tonight, 
we honor these heroes and thank them for giving us hope and reminding us that everyone has an opportunity to do something extraordinary. Don't be afraid to be a hero. Please welcome Fantasy! slaves to a generation socialized in sicknesses in the mind. We are habitual thinkers, substance abusers, and habitual drinkers. So free your mind because the plug is watching from the top floor, hoping you too will fall for the illusions of a temporary high. What we think we need to get by. But are we really trying when kids are dying and depression is trending? Are these the signs of an Armageddon? We're all in denial, and it's all cool until you're suicidal. We never learn from our so-called idols. We're just repeating the cycle, so I never read the news anymore. It's hard not to feel hopeless when no one noticed the explosion came from a man whose legal gun was loaded. It's all watered down and sugar-coated, and we voted, but do we really get to choose? We don't need proof that they separate us from the truth. Mothers and fathers are being separated from their youth and they're selling the American dream and what it appears to be, but they don't teach us that wealth is unattainable with their currency. History is not my brother's story. The original founders were buried in the ground where men have planted seeds of disease and they've justified being thieves, feeding their inner demons and blaming the minorities. It's a World War III, corruption versus greed, not you versus me. But did we ever think of the need for inner peace? They can't put a price on your soul. It don't matter your religion. Right and wrong is something everybody knows. They pick and choose what's equal, who's good and who's evil. And this is the devil's world, but the Lord is coming for his people. Surrounded by these hungry lions, look. 
looking in the jaws of death We reach for saving hands No help will come from man The Lord is come All you people of the land Sorrows. Turn around while you still can. There's no guarantee you'll see tomorrow. The doors are open wide. So Swimming with the great whites, drowning in the deep waters. Know you got three daughters, could use some resources. Now nah, we just need order. I got my own bad news, forget a reporter. Man, we ain't even safe, they want to deport us. Or rather keep us boxed in on the street corners. You gonna stop the Frisco? Man, at least warn us. My dog's still on probation, they got a leash on us. Far from stupid, in fact, I'm smarter than Harvard students. Spark the movement and put an end to this garbage music. Got me thinking like this can't be life. Man, y'all idiots, y'all voted for the Antichrist. Living in this false reality, it's in this picture gallery. Based on a person's profile, we get some salary. Lifestyles is advertised, quite strategized. Make a minimal amount and then we maximize. Y'all people capping with lies, how they capitalize. Creating their own perception with a massive facade. Digital marketing schemes, even broader regime. Live how you want on the internet, who thought of this thing? Now I'm a new man, need to find a new plan. God bless America, God bless Sudan. Now I'm a new man, need to find a new plan. God bless America, yeah. and God bless Sudan. Glory, glory. continued efforts and steadfast commitment to furthering social change, we are proud to present such a deserving recipient with the 2016 BET Humanitarian Award presented by State Farm, Jesse Williams. <laughs> Peace, peace. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, BET. Uh, thank you, Nate Parker, Harry, um, and, and Debbie Allen uh, for participating in that. Um, before we get into it, I just want to say, you know, I brought my parents out tonight. I just want to thank them uh, for being here, for teaching me um, to focus on comprehension over career, that uh, they make sure I learn what the schools were afraid to teach us, and also to thank my amazing wife for changing my life. Now, this award. This is not for me, this is for the real organizers all over the country, the activists, the civil rights attorneys, the struggling parents, the families, the teachers, the students that are realizing that a system built to divide and impoverish and destroy us cannot stand if we do. All right? It's kind of basic mathematics. The more we learn about who we are and how we got here, the more we will mobilize. 
Now, this is also in particular for the black women, in particular, who have spent their lifetimes dedicated to nurturing everyone before themselves. We can and will do better for you. Now, what we've been doing is looking at the data, and we know that police somehow manage to de-escalate, disarm, and not kill white people every day. So what's going to happen is we are going to have equal rights and justice in our own country, or we will restructure their function and ours. Now, I got more, y'all. Yesterday would have been young Tamir Rice's 14th birthday. So I don't want to hear any more about how far we've come when paid public servants can pull a drive-by on a 12-year-old playing alone in a park in broad daylight, killing him on television, and then going home to make a sandwich. Tell Rakia Boyd how it's so much better to live in 2012 than it is to live in 1612 or 1712. Tell that to Eric Garner. Tell that to Sandra Bland. Tell that to Dorian Hunt. Now, the thing is, though, all of us in here getting money, that alone isn't going to stop this. All right? Now, dedicating our lives, dedicating our lives to getting money just to give it right back for someone's brand on our body, when we spent centuries praying with brands on our bodies, and now we pray to get paid for brands on our bodies. There has been no war that we have not fought and died on the front lines of. There has been no job we haven't done. There's no tax they haven't levied against us, and we've paid all of them. But freedom is somehow always conditional here. You're free, they keep telling us. But she, she, she would have been alive if she hadn't acted so free. Now, freedom is always coming in the hereafter. But you know what, though? The hereafter is a hustle. We want it now. And let's get, let's get a couple things straight, just a little side note. The burden of the brutalized is not to comfort the bystander. That's not our job, all right? Stop with all that. If you have a critique for the resistance, for our resistance, then you better have an established record of critique of our oppression. If you have no interest, if you have no interest in equal rights for black people, then do not make suggestions to those who do. Sit down. We've been floating this country on credit for centuries, yo. And we're done watching and waiting while this invention called whiteness uses and abuses us, burying black people out of sight and out of mind while extracting our culture, our dollars, our entertainment like oil, black gold, ghettoizing and demeaning our creations, then stealing them, gentrifying our genius, and then trying us on like costumes before discarding our bodies like rinds of strange fruit. The thing is, though, the thing is that just because we're magic doesn't mean we're not real. Thank you.